Hi everyone, in this video we are going to create Redmo Replace button and in this project we are going to use some CSS tricks that can be help in some scenario. So let's get started and first I am going to run the React server. So npm start and it's on the our server and here is our hello react so first i am going to create one component so let's create a step by a step and we will just start better so first i am going to create red more red less component and dot this and here we can write const red more red less return deep and here we can also export default red more red plus and here our with text and we can import this one inside of app.js red more red less from here and we can render here Red more red less and let's go here you can see our test text so let's create a step by step so i am going to create here red more traces so we need to run a state and we use a state and its initial value is false we also need to import use a state from react and this is state first is collapse and set collapse you can give whatever name and i am give set collapse so here we can write our text so here should be our lauren instance for now i am going to give some text and here is take one span and here is our long text like this is our long text and inside of this div also we can contain one button and this one is read more you can also take as a link and you can see here our content let's give some style so we can this here we can leave content and select this one content and we can give max width 40 ram margin 4 ram top and auto no this here you can see and give background color background color and here padding to run and water radius per pixel so this is our component and then we click on this read button and it will be show our all the text but here is we can see our long test also showing so first we need to hide this one and when we click on this one it will show and then when click again this one it will collapse so first i am going to here we can do one more thing here we can take class and long text and here we can write expand so we will do animate in further so that's why i'm using class name you can we can directly do like unconditional ending here but we need to some animation so I am going to keep that tricks inside of this tutorial. So here long text and here is a expand expanded and here we can use something as a and like this and here we can this this text as a conditionally then our collapse true so it will show this one otherwise we can show just a expand and here let's create one 
our listener and here we should persist collapse uh, we can try previous and uh, invert this and now we can click here if nothing happened because we doesn't add anything but we can see inside of our dom element let us zoom so here you can see our class is struggling now and let's go here and we can add some css so by default our content of long text long dot text here you can height should be zero and overflow hidden and now we can see our text is doesn't remove because we our height is doesn't apply in this span element we should also add the display inline block or block then our hearts work now we can see here okay this work and when we collapse and or whenever we our class expand and you can copy this text and here paste and height should be so integer and now we can see it's working but there is a one problem is that we don't know the height of the content so whenever we suppose we take 10 ram for this purpose is now but height can be dynamic so how can we do that so we can use some css tricks we can say but it is not css tricks. we can use max height zero and we can assume the height of the content maximum height of the content for the our site so this is suppose our maximum height of the read more read less content is 50 ram this is our maximum height and when we try now you can see it's exactly the height of the content and it's working fine so let's create this component reusable and then we add transition on that so first i am going to here accept two props first is short content and second is long content so here we can render this is not only where we can implement there is lots of where we can implement the read more read less i will teach you in another video too so here and we should pass from the hair so here we can short content and so lorem span and we can copy this one and also here we can long content and we can pass here and we should take this one like this and now we should remove this one here is our and when click it's working fine and copy this one again and here we can double this text so it will be too long and here we should give this so we can check it's working also fine and here you can see both are working fine let's add some animation so here no time exactly animation we can use transition and here is some tricky part like the transition and max height two seconds and let's try what will happen 
Well, it's too fast. And uh, let's try. It's working, but Max had just spelling mistakes. So let's now it's working but when we click our when the content is opening mode is it's too fast but when we close this it takes some time and then close so that is the problem because of times because our maximum height is 40 ram 50 ram sorry 50 ram so it will try to RAM to collapse so it will take that time for our content so we can our calculate here time for that purpose so we can use two transition first is that for opening whenever we expand so now try to expand this will take two seconds and it's work and also it's going for two seconds it's work on and we can change here like some short amount of time so now we click here yeah opening is close and perfect let's calculate for 0.4 second nice 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 so here is working fine nice 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 it's working fine i hope it is useful and you can style it by on it is very simple to style for you and i believe on you thank you so much for i will meet you in next one bye